Think of all the mass shootings that this country has faced. Think of all the mass shootings that have happened at schools. Columbine, Sandy Hook, and now Parkland. Oh my God! Oh my God! If you had a teacher who was adept at firearms, they could very well end the attack very quickly. You've got the President of the United States saying, arm the teachers. Schools must be the most hardened targets in this country. You've got the NRA saying, arm the teachers. I want to address this idea of, of school safety. And now we've got Governor Ducey saying, arm the teachers. If this school safety plan goes into effect, teachers will be able to carry on campus. Is it safe to say you would do anything to protect your students? Yeah, I would. You always want to have your finger along the side gotcha. until you're actually on target and okay. ready to shoot. You know, I don't want to have to do anything, but yeah, I mean, I, you know, I have grown children now, so these are my, these are my babies. So this front sight, yeah. the top of this, the flat part should be flat with the back oh, of that. Okay. I think that's Did you ever think that you would come to this point where you would actually consider bringing a gun and carrying a gun inside your classroom? Never. This was never a thought. Our job is to educate and protect students. And so many of us don't want to have to look at a, st a, a student and possibly say, I have to take your life to save these lives. And when Cassie fired off her first 10 rounds, she totally missed the target. Totally missed the target. And you could tell she was nervous. I think you might be a little bit high. Yeah, I think so too. It's one thing to say, arm our teachers. It's another thing to say is, is that teacher ready to kill? Do you think you, with your handgun, will be able to take down a guy with an AR-15? It's a hard question, because I think with the proper training, I can. In these sites, you see the dots? Mm -hmm. This white dot mm -hmm. should be perfectly centered left and right between the back two. After she missed the target, Suzanne, the NRA instructor, she worked with her. She taught her how to properly hold the gun, taught her how to properly get into her stance, taught her how to properly breathe as she's ready to pull that trigger. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, wow. Good job. <laughs> you just got 10 shots in about the size wow. of a hand. I mean, that's phenomenal. Wow. You totally neutralized yeah. that threat. What's your thought on that? <laughs> well, just I'm kind of amazed that I was able to do it. But um, yeah, there's a lot of power when you're holding that gun. And I realized that, you know, if I'm going to shoot a gun, I need to shoot not to try to somebody in the leg or something that you shoot to kill. What do you say to that parent who says, I am really concerned about any teacher bringing a gun onto campus? The reason that I have it, say if I was carrying one, is to help your child come home at night. I have 12 and 13 year olds hugging me every day as they come in and go out of my classroom. And that is, that's what school should be. Students should, you know, love their teachers and teachers should love their students. We've got both extremes on this storyline. We have people saying no guns or less guns. And we've got the other side saying, no, we need more people with guns to protect people. Is there middle ground?